cloud is uh, something that we consider for many applications. It's for the basic encoding um, system. Uh, it's for the playout, and it's for other additional added value services. Um, we consider that the cloud will come very soon uh, in the encoding platform, especially with the arrival of the UHD in the coming years, because the customers will no more invest in new hardware to do UHD. And so they will prefer to outsource their encoding platform and to invest their money in any other budgets at cyber defense and the contents. And so all the customers we met consider that UHD will be a tremendous shift of this industry to the cloud for the encoding platform. We start first to propose cloud for the disaster recovery encoding platform. It's a very uh, compelling solution to address the cost, but as well to, to get a very fluid solution. And so we uh, contracted uh, with some customers to provide this encoding platform for disaster recovery and business continuity. The second one is more for the playout. Uh, so again, there is a tremendous demand for uh, playout in the cloud, um, especially in the sport industry, where they want to set up a, a pop-up channel very rapidly uh, on spot for remote production. And so they consider that this is a very good solution uh, to, to get this facility. The second one is that we have demand from customers as well to test some context, to test some new channels, new principles or new formats. And so instead of waiting for, let's say, three weeks or three months to get the play out on live, you can just get it in three hours. So they can put in place very rapidly a new concept of channels to test it, maybe to close it or maybe to go on. So I think that's why we consider the cloud for the encoding platform, but as well for the playout. So today we, we consider a, an hybrid system with private and public cloud uh, for many reasons. The first one is that most of the time, uh, because of the cost structure of AWS or Azure or whatever, any other public cloud solutions, it's better to get a private, uh, private solution according to the number of virtual machines you want to run. But the point is not this. The point is that it's good to start with a private cloud and then for the overflow to use the public cloud. This is what we do, for instance, for the cinema delivery offer we've got. So we provide the distribution of the movies to the cinemas. We do it in a private cloud, and when there is a huge demand for a distribution of very you know, big film, a big cinema, we go to the cloud to get the overflow. So it, it will be a very hybrid solution between cloud private and cloud public. I think we'll see the arrival of the cloud first for the play out. Um, because this is a way to provide very flexible solution to the customers. Uh, probably in the sport industry, where there is a huge demand. And then we see the arrival of the cloud, as was I mentioned before, for the business continuity and disaster recovery platform, because this is a really a tremendous secured way to provide business continuity.